I'm Mike Newman with Southeast Jeeps in Stewart, Florida, and we do custom work, repair work, and modifications on Jeep, Jeeps, Jeep Wranglers, and we restore CJ7s. This build was just a, a fun project for a customer that, that wanted something he could take to uh, a car show or, or go onto his hunting lease and get, be able to go out hunting and take down some deer or whatever it is that he's hunting after. But uh, it's a 67 Kaiser, Jeep Kaiser M715 military truck. I guess it's more, more currently being called the, the Jeep five quarter. <laughs> uh, we, we put a Chevy 3D3 stroker, uh, one ton axles, four link suspension to make it uh, a little more modern, more friendly for him to be able to drive it. I got Chevy corporate uh, one ton rear and uh, Chevy Dana 60 front, 513 gears. Detroit lockers and um, dual disc brakes on the, we added disc brakes to the rear. The transfer case is a Chevy, um, full size Chevy truck, uh, 203 transfer case. Transmission is a 700 R4 Chevy automatic transmission. Everything on the body is original except we shortened the bed about 20 inches and split the tailgate to make the barn door tailgate. We built the windshield frame. The, the factory windshield frame is much too tall and almost leans forward on the M715. So the top, uh, we, I just fabricated a, a frame for it and then uh, I got a local canvas shop that does custom work for us and basically showed them what I wanted to do and they put it together for me. I think this one has 38s. Last year we worked on 800 Jeeps, so it's, we're a really busy shop. I got two acres of Jeeps, a 10,000 square foot shop. This is a customer's Jeep. He doesn't mind me showing it off at all. The bumpers we fabricated, we just laid out a design, took it to a, a local metal shop and had them cut it and we welded them all together. We have um, uh, mile marker hydraulic winches front and rear mounted inside the bumper. We tried to make the, the interior very simple and uh, not too many things are available for M715 interior. so. Uh, we made it a really simple race car style door opener. The console we made, we made a mold and built it out of fiberglass and uh, the dash is the original dash. We just uh, did a really clean job of keeping the wiring out of sight. The box on the side of the bed is the original tent box that they would, the military guys would roll up the tent and slide it in there when it wasn't being over the, top, the, the back of the truck. They would roll it up and slide it in there when it wasn't being used. So that's the original tent box. Nothing in there now. It's empty. In the bed, we have a, a gas tank with a toolbox on top of it with a uh, amp and speakers mounted inside there as well. I saw two bottles in there. What are those for? Those are little nitrous bottles for a little extra fun. The fender flares are just a uh, aftermarket rubber mold. The, you know, the steel is the original steel body sheet metal. The rubber mold, we just, I basically welded quarter 20 bolts all the way around to attach that to. And if you look underneath, you'll see the lock nuts holding it on there. So on, uh, from the factory, does it, do the steel fenders come welded to that? Yes, just like this. The only th over here, we smoothed this out a little bit, but this is original M715. Sweet. How did you find one that, was it rusted? Did it was a little rusty. We bought five of them off of eBay out of Arizona <laughs> from the forestry department. You know, they were old retired trucks. So you pieced them all together out of five? Yeah, we've done three of them, completed three trucks out of it. We've got one, one left to do and one that was just part, ended up all parts, was too rusty to do anything with.